Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do plot simulation in Blender. Once you've got this uh, window, you can orient and I'm going to be use uh, this uh, I'm going to use a cool uh, uh, sphere. Press shift A and go to mesh then just use the sphere. Press S to scale and I press and fire for my non key to go to autographic and go to view like I use here view and I choose here and left press that to go into wide mode and I press shift A and choose plane I take this plane up press Z and bring this plane down a bit and scale this plane like this okay yeah so this plane will serve as our clock and this uh, sphere will serve as any other object that you want. You could do different objects if you want any one. I'm going to click smooth sphere and on this uh, plane I'm going to go to circles and I'm going to add material. Let's to say clothes material and um, I'm going to um, yeah, what you should do, you go to set this as fair as uh, a collision, a good modifier. If collision, that means um, the, the, the plane that starts as the plot is going to collide with this sphere once it's, it touches the sphere. And um, I'm, I'm going to set the cloth as a cloth using this cloth and um, button as modifier and uh, collision. So the cloth uh, is going to perform two functions. It's going to serve as uh, a modifier in two places that means as a cloth and as a, a colliding object or colliding substance so uh, this is um, a cloth from a rename this this part cloth. so you're going to press tab and press w and click subdivide and i'm going to see check here you see subdivide i'm going to click you see 10 that's maximum I press W again to subdivide, that means it's 100, that means 10 by 10, 100 subdivision. Let's see, ah, uh, I'm going to subdivision, oh, maybe 10 multiplied by 10, and there's some things in space to just check this, and M squares, it's just like, you need to do it like twice the way I came up with that, like, like a all. So, um, from here, I press tab, and I'm going to go to this uh, physics tab. I'm going to check here, you see, we already have collision and cloth checked. If they are not checked, you won't have this X. This X shows you, it gives you the ability to, to remove them. So once you remove them from here, they're going to be removed from this part. So for cloth, under cloth um, panel or under uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, under cloth, cloth panel, you choose pinning. Pinning is going to, going to like hold a place, it's going to grab a place and the rest of the place will be free to, to work with. So we, I'm going to press tab, I'm going to set this center, this single point to be point that should be pinned. So that means this part is going to be static, the rest will be dynamic according to the physics we have from the environment. And I'm going to choose this uh, data tab and I choose vertex group and I choose uh, the group or you can change group to pin and choose assign. And I go back to physics and I under this pin, I choose pin. That's uh, because I changed the here. Pin. So, choose pin, I press tab. And then, um, under this part, I go to close cache. Okay, I want it to stop at 50 frames. It will take 100 frames. So, okay, so from 0 to 100, it will stop here. And, and uh, um, the collision of the cloth, I'm going to check self collision quality. Say, uh, 3, consider 2 of the fault, any, yeah. The, um, the, 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 the more the, the collision quality, the more nice it will look like. But uh, at, at most part, um, you shouldn't do it too high because of the memory of the system. Memory is to hold or contain. So it might crash or something. So just get a reasonable size and just check, get a preview, and then you know which one is the best way to work with and in binary. So uh, from here, this is. Uh, going to work this way and I'm just trying to make sure it looks like it's almost there uh, that's because we are not animating this so we're just pinning that to look like it's already 
for to already reach this um, top, like it's been falling. So you should share the, the other faces you handle this other card. So um, what we should be waiting for, you should, you should click bake and you go to the first in this cloth, go to physics. On that cloth, you choose uh, on that cloth cash. Cloth cash, you choose bake to bake. This is going to bake from 0 to 100 since we're choosing from here to 100. Choose bake and we'll wait till you have point cash and um, baking up to 100% and then we will check the effect and see how it looks like. So it's baked already and when we take this, you can see the way the cloth is going to fall and uh, around the, the, the object. So uh, this is how um, um, cloth simulation works. This is just a very basic. There are other um, extra stuff you could work with here. For this tutorial, this is a very basic one. For that tutorials on cloth simulation will be coming from time to time. If you don't subscribe to the um, channel, you should do so. And so that um, once the tutorials for the rest of our explain you will get them um, from this channel. So from here, if you could click smooth, smoothing this, um, this um, a cloth. And you could add, um, you could stack modifiers, add a, a solidify to, to add the kind of thickness to, to the cloth if you want to. And you could add a material to the cloth. And you can go here, I'm going to add uh, a material to so node editor. I'm going to press M and by default, I'm going to texture. I'm going to check out texture to get texture. I'm going to click this to and I'm going to set. Check your texture color and I'm going to go to material and I'm going to go to um, texture coordinate. Okay, material texture coordinate. I'm going to set this to, uh, I can set it to object vector. You could set it to UV if you have a UV, but it is no UV here, so you could leave it as you put it with it. So uh, here you have a check your texture and you could. Uh, you get a black, black and white, or black or gray, gray and check out color. That's much material, but when you, you set this to um, cycles, so it's just type of uh, texture you, you're going to be seeing. So, uh, from this record, we will be left and uh, just kind of take this to GZ. And um, you have to apply this. Um, um, cloth material to show that okay we, we agree before we can take it off because it's baked already so the effects will happen here so instead of doing that I'll just do it because everyone's after this and this um, video will be very short scale this and I'm gonna hit render and if I like this and here and it's okay then I'm gonna check the material for, for this one I'm gonna keep the light create a spotlight create a create a spot spotlight there and if you increase the density of spotlight to change a sun which which is better it's fair if you like if you take like if you like you take this to to red to purple you can take this to whatever color that you, you want to, I'm going to leave it up as white and uh, it's kind of it's kind of like a ball because of this and I think I should increase the scaling of texture to that I should increase the scaling of the texture so that's it for customization, this is very very basic thank you very, very, guys very well for um, listen and watching. I hope you use this um, very nicely. So, if you have any problems, if you encounter problems on this, I'm going to do subdivision. So, if you encounter a problem anyway, using subdivision, if you drop it on the comment section below, how is it more on um, how to use it in complex um, problems or complex things you want to solve. Right, uh, I think that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys very well for watching, and see you in my next uh, video. Bye.